Hello, I'm Ben Thompson. Now today is Sunday, so we're going to have our special Sunday message. And we have already begun. Now, today we're going to look at a passage from the Quran. And a reminder that I am not Muslim or Islam, so I cannot interpret their doctrine the way they do. But I do believe that there is truth contained within all religions and that if we look at this truth we can gain benefit for ourselves and I have found a, a passage from uh, Surah 2 of the Quran which is a chapter 2 for those of you who don't know and it talks about a, a truth that uh, I believe we should all hear. I don't know how the verses are separated so I, I can't give a specific point but it's near the beginning. It says, Their hearts and their ears hath God sealed up, and over their eyes is a covering for them a severe chastisement. So these are talking about the people who don't believe in the, the one true God. Now this passage is also in uh, a similar passage is also in the Old Testament and is repeated in the New Testament and so we have three witnesses for this idea that people will have their ears and their hearts covered up so they can't understand the Word of God. And for those people, there's going to be a severe uh, chastisement or a disciplinary action that God will initiate. And some there are who say, we believe in God, and in the latter day, yet are they not believers? Fain would they deceive God and those who have believed, but they deceive themselves only, and know it not. So, the first group of people are people who don't believe in God. Their, are, their, their eyes and hearts and, and ears are closed up to, uh, to truth. And then we have another group of people. These are people who believe in God, and yet they don't really believe in God because they don't keep the word that God has given. And this is true in all religions. We have groups of people who stick to the things that God has said within their own holy writings. And we have other people who say they believe in God, and yet do, do not keep or follow the words that have been given to them from their God. And uh, to those people, it says, Diseased are their hearts, and that disease hath God increased to them. There's a sore chastisement. For that they treated their prophet as a liar. So, uh, there's a, a dual there's a, a dual uh, punishment upon those people. And like it's, it's an increase. This is something I learned from Hebrew because I've also studied Hebrew. and this in increase shows that this is a more severe chastisement than upon the people who don't believe in God because one thing is that the, the, the people who don't believe in God they don't study at all and so they, they, they don't really know or understand it then you have the people and this is the people who are under more condemnation they believe in God they say they believe in God yet they don't take the time to to, to, to study properly 
and what they do know they don't really keep. It's not important to them. And so their hearts have become full of disease and uh, they have a they will have a sore chastisement. Then it goes on to say, and when it is said to them, cause not disorders in the earth, they say, nay, rather do we set them right. Is it not they, that they are themselves the authors of disorder, but they perceive it not? Now, this is another group of people. These are the group of, this is the group of people who believe that they are more intelligent than God and that they, the things they do create disorder in the earth and this is true today and has always been true there are people who think they're more intelligent and have set out to do things that will create a whole bunch of disorder and destruction in the earth so one of these ideas is genetically modified organisms or what we call GMOs these things are being shown to to cause cancer in laboratory animals and that they are causing cancer in us and yet they say that's okay it's, there's no cancer but those foods are dangerous and it's creating disorder in the earth another example is the geoengineering project also known as chemtrails this is create this is destroying the ozone and yet the whole purpose of the geoengineering project is to curb the effects of global warming but they themselves are actually creating it by destroying the ozone with their geoengineering project And when it is said to them, believe as other men have believed, they say, Shall we believe as the fools have believed? Is it not that they themselves are the fools? But they know it not. And when they meet the faithful, they say, We believe. But when they are apart with their satans, they say, Verily we hold with you, and at that them we only mock. Now, this is a common problem among politicians. It's whatever group they're in front of, that's the group they're part of. And this is also a problem within the huge international corporate leadership. Openly, they say, we believe in this God, we believe in, we believe in Christ, we believe in Adonai, we believe in Allah, we believe in Buddha, we believe in Ram. We believe whatever you believe, but yet they go secretly behind closed doors and do things quite the contrary. Uh, one example of this is found within the Bohemian Grove in California. God shall mock at them and keep them long in their rebellion, wandering in perplexity. These are they who have purchased error at the price of guidance. But their traffic hath not been gainful, neither are they guided at all. They are like one who kindleth a fire, and when it hath thrown its light on all around him, God taketh away their light and leaveth them in darkness, they cannot see. Deaf, dumb, blind, therefore they shall not retrace their steps. So, that is a truth I found within my reading of the Quran so far. And we're going to go ahead and end on that note. Our, our society is facing a great crisis political, spiritual, and economical. 
And the more I, I study all these different things, the more I realize that God is trying to help us the best way He can, because He will never force us. He will never make us do things. He wants us to, to, to learn to love Him and to follow His will on our own. And whatever you believe God to be, God is is uh, leading us towards towards that idea. We all have different beliefs, and but though in the way we interpret God, and we all have a right to do so, but we also shouldn't think that we have the, the highest form and that God does not give other things to other people. That's what we're are that's what the end goal of, of all of this really is. Is God wants to create a people of light. We can call God the the light or the truth. And on the other hand we have the evil power. And the evil power is trying to create darkness over the earth and whatever you want to call this evil power it is not in the form of humans though there are humans who serve it there are the truth is not in the form of humans but there are men and women who serve the truth and so we ha we're in this spiritual battle between two opposing forces and in all things is this opposition of goodness and light and truth against wickedness darkness and lies and these two will be constantly competing and All of the, we must look for truth wherever it is and support it. And whenever we see evil, we should uh, learn to reject that and choose only the good. So now um, we will pray for our, our community. And because I'm a, a Christian, that's the only way I can pray. Because that would be dishonest with with myself if I did anything else so oh God our eternal father in heaven we thank thee for this beautiful Sunday morning we thank thee for being able to, to be here in this community thank you for our, our happiness and our joy and the light that thou hast given to, to all of us we pray that we might be more following the truth and that we may be able to, to recognize the darkness that is hanging over our heads. We pray that this community might become closer together, that we might do the things that will help to prepare for the coming crisis. We pray for our leaders that they might be inspired to, to see the goodness of the truth and to, to follow it and make good and just laws and to reject the bad laws which would bring about the crisis. We pray for our soldiers that they may return home safely and be the means of bringing good instead of darkness to the world. And we say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe and to check back. And don't forget to just don't just sit there and listen, but go out and become involved with the community. And together we can prepare for the coming crisis. Thank you and have a good day.